My daughter being in a <laughs> gown with a head and a degree in the hand, I go like <sighs> instead of being happy, it brings tears in my eyes. Thinking that what I'm seeing is what really, really, really what I'm seeing in my eyes. So I go like thank God for everything. Because I didn't believe that this day would come to like this seeing my daughter the way she was. So it was like a moment to be unexplained. I was overjoyed. Having Clive has given me a platform to achieve a dream I never thought possible. Because as I've mentioned before, I never had any plans. I, I never saw myself going anywhere other than the, the borders of justice. And then here I am today speaking as a media practitioner. I didn't know what I was going to do after high school. It was, okay, now I'm, I'm going to complete high school, then what's next? Because, like, on the side, financially, I thought, like, okay, I, I can't really go to varsity. Like, I can't afford to go to university because my parents are working, but, like, they're working just to keep body and soul together. Like, so they can't afford to pay maybe 30,000 fees and all that. So it was a lot. You realize, okay, this is important. Now we have to talk about it. What's going to happen? I honestly had no plans for the future because I didn't know if I was having any other future than just finishing high school and then coming back home just to be here, just doing, you know, normal chores at home and all that. And then I looked at the varsity part. It didn't look financially possible. It was more like a dream of me having to go somewhere out there and meeting people, new people, people who would inspire me to do better. I was very competitive. Uh, I wanted to make sure I get the best results so I can hopefully get a bursary because I always knew I wanted to be a somebody. I wanted to be successful in life and I wanted to do that mostly so that my siblings can be more comfortable growing up. I got a cliff bursary and I was able to go to Rhodes University and study pharmacy. Uh, while I was still in high school in grade 12, finishing off that final year, they, uh, my uh, geography teacher, Mr. Nlungwane, came to our class and then he offered us forms to apply for a Basari Cliff. And I was like, let me just apply. We'll see what happens. I've never thought of that, but my wish was for pleasure to be at the university one day, looking at my situation by the time, just for her to make her dream come through and as myself, I didn't able to go there, but I wish that my kids can go to invest in order to make their dreams come true one day. Thank you, Clem and Jade Stockness. Really appreciate the support that you gave us as students throughout our university experience. And we ask that you continue funding those students that are in need in the villages of South Africa, Tanzania, and Kenya. Thank you. If I didn't have the opportunity to get a bursary and go to university, I'd probably be pregnant and get grant money and use that to start a business selling something. I obtained my B farm in 2017 and I graduated in 2018. And I started doing my internship at Emelo Provincial Hospital last year in 2018. And this year I managed to get placement at Matikwana Hospital close by to do my community service. And I specifically chose that hospital because doing Buisela um, made me realize how important it is giving back to the community. To the people who donate to CLEF, I would like to extend a very warm, heartfelt thank you because CLEF was the plug to my comfortable living. And may you please continue doing the good work that you are doing and continue to make the lives of all other children who have dreams come true. <laughs>